I'm playing this on electric guitar, not acoustic guitar, because I just recently, like, I mean, when I was a child, I listened to Bleach, and I thought, this is fine. It's very noisy. I like Nirvana. This is fine. But I liked Nirvana Unplugged quite a bit more. But now, as a grown... Now, you almost tricked me into saying the A word. As a grown butt adult, that sounds worse. Saying grown butt adult is weirder than the, the other one, grown H-E double hockey sticks adult. Um, you got me off track. As a fully grown adult human person, uh, I, I'm like, wait a minute. Bleach is a really good album. I'm gonna play this on electric guitar. That was my thought process and I just thought I would share it with you. Standard tuning, if you play along with the unplugged version, then you have to tune down half a step. If you play along with the electric bleach version, standard tuning, my name is Stuart, this is About a Girl by Nirvana, featuring the slam dunk guitarist, songwriter, singer, Kurt Cobain. <laughs> Intro, E minor chord, top string open, middle finger, second fret, second string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the top, bottom of three strings are open. Fantastic work, that is the E minor chord. You're gonna strum down, down, up on this chord. Down, down, up. Then we switch to a G. I'm gonna show, okay. So you can play G any way you want and it's gonna sound fine. Here's how I, uh, I'm actually not sure. Here's how I think Kurt Cobain does it. Middle finger, third fret, top string. Middle finger also mutes the second string from the top and then have your ring finger play three on the bottom string. The rest of the strings are open, sounds like this. If you play it one string at a time, great. Now, if you are used to playing G like this, or you're used to playing G like this, or you're used to playing G like this, any of those will work fine. Just go for it. I'm not gonna scratch any bees off your bum. <laughs> okay, okay, that's actually, this is, I like this expression. Guys, let's get this started. Hey, I don't, I'm not trying to scratch any bees off your bum, but you do you. There we go, let's get that, it's not gonna catch on. Never mind. forget, this is embarrassing. Forget I said anything. There is one more option for the G. Oh, I accidentally put mango chili electrolytes in my coffee, so I'm gonna struggle with that for the rest of the video. When I was a child, someone taught me that you could play about a girl by like, you, <sighs> I used these two fingers to play the E minor, and then I went like this for the G. So I had my thumb play three on the top and my pointer finger play three on the bottom. I don't know how that got into my head. I don't think that's how Kurt Cobain does it, right? But it's kind of fun to go like. So I don't necessarily recommend it, but I spent like, a year of my life just playing that over and over and over and over again, so I would be remiss if I did not say it to you. What does remiss mean? Okay, so we've got E minor and then G, whichever way you want to slice the G. The strumming is on the E minor. We go down, down, up, and then you switch to the G and the strum down, up, down, up. So that was down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, one thing you may notice is right as I switch from the E minor to the G, and then again when I switch from G to E minor, on my last strum up, I'm playing the open string. So I'm going down, down, and boom, go, boom, and boom, boom, go. It sounds cool, it's what Kurt Cobain did, and it makes it easier to switch chords. So really slowly, let's go down, down, lift, down, up, down, lift. Then you start it over again. One, two, karate chop a rochambeau. Down, down, lift, down, up, down, lift, down, down, lift, down, up, down, lift. You did great. So the truth is, the first time we want to go down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then you do it in a additional time, but when you do it the second time, instead of playing down, 
down, up on the E minor. We want to just go down, up, down, up. So same two chords, the rhythm changes ever so slightly. The entire intro riff all the way through goes like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Play it with me. One, two, be your true self. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. For the introduction, you do that cuatro times. That's Spanish for four. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Then we go to the verse. For the verse, you do that exact same E minor to G riff. What's a riff? That's right. It's just a repeated short rhythmic guitar part. You do it another four times for the verse. Then we go to the chorus. The chorus is where I'm going to lose all you guys because you have to play a bar chord. But it's like a Kurt Cobain half butted <laughs> bar chord. Okay. Have you, so if you replace the A word with the word but, it makes everything so much weirder. Can we think of more examples of this? So the first bar chord we're gonna half butt is a C sharp half butted bar chord. Please place your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the top. Please place your ring finger on the sixth fret of the third string from the top. Then what we wanna do is we wanna take the ring finger and mash it down so it plays six on the third from the top, third from the bottom, and second from the bottom, just like that. Your, my middle finger looks like it's playing this note here. It's not. My middle finger just doesn't know where to go. So it's just hanging out. And another thing you're going to hate is have your pointer finger mute the top string. Just the tip of my pointer finger is touching and muting the top string. Or if you would like, you may take your middle finger and mute the top string with that. But I get a little confused when I do that. I accidentally pushed my middle finger and it sounds like this. And that's not what we want. We want this. This is a C sharp major chord, you guys. You're going to strum down, down, up. Then keep your ring finger in the same spot, but move your pointer finger to the fourth fret of the top string and make sure the second string from the top is muted with your pointer finger. So it's four, mute, six, six, six. So we've got one, two, play with me. One more time for free. Great job. So this one right here, we're going to call this a C sharp over G sharp because we have the C sharp chord, but this note right here is a G sharp. One of the reasons why this is a little bit half butted is because I think that really like the, the implied chord changes of the song or it goes C sharp to a full on G sharp chord. But I think Kurt Cobain could not be bothered to switch fully, so he just did that little half switch. But then the good news is, it created a classic song that we all know and love. Then, we're gonna go to an F sharp chord. Please place your pointer finger on the second fret of the second string from the top. Ring finger, fourth fret, second string from the top. Mash down your ring finger onto the next string. And there's our little half butted F sharp bar chord. If you are unable to successfully make this chord sound good, we can do the not half butted version, the full on bar chord, which is pointer finger two on top, ring finger four second string from the top, pinky four third string from the top, middle finger three third string from the bottom, and then take your pointer finger and mash down on all the strings, just like that. I think this is what I usually do when I play the song, I go. On this chord, we're gonna strum down, up, up. So I'm going down, up, hit, up. Boom. Oh. Play it with me. For those of you paying attention at home, that was Sha is what I said when I made a mistake. We do that twice. We go a soon as fun is shines. The sick sun is shine. Then we go to a regular E chord. That's top string open. Then second fret, second string from the top, second fret, third string from the top, first fret, third string from the bottom. You go down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you're gonna go to an A chord. An 
A is second fret, third string from the top, second fret, third string from the bottom, second fret, second string from the bottom. With your thumb, mute the top string, and you're gonna go down, up. Just down, up, that's all you're gonna do. And then you're gonna switch to a C, which is pointer finger, one, second string from the bottom, middle finger, two, third string from the top, ring finger, three, second string from the top. If you can, mute the top string with your thumb. Also, if you can, don't try to have your fingers straight up to the strings like that. Angle them over like that. And on this, we're going to go, let's see, we did A, A, C. On the C, we're going to go up, up, down, up. So that whole last little part was E, two, three, four, A, up, 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 down, up. One, two, one more time. I can see you every night. Fantastic. And then to finish up the chorus, we're gonna do the E minor to G riff another two times. Guys, let's play the whole entire chorus all the way through. One, two, kaleidoscope eyes. Fantastic. Then we go through the whole verse again for the second verse, which is the E minor to G, E minor G thing, two more, four more times, quattro, that's Spanish for four. I'm surprised you didn't know that. And then we go to the chorus again. We do the chorus exactly the same. Then we go to the guitar solo. For the uh, electric version, this is where he smashes on the distortion, but for the unplugged version, it's where he smashes on the a uh, regular acoustic guitar sound. Should we do distortion or not distortion? I'm gonna do distortion because I am in the mood for raw power. <laughs> Top string open, then play third string from the top open, then second fret, third string from the top, then third string from the bottom open, then second fret, third string from the bottom. So that was boom, bicky, bicky. Boom, bicky, bicky. Here we go. Boom, bicky, bicky. Then play two on the third string from the bottom again, and then play it once more time, a third time, but immediately slide up to four. So we've got boom, big, 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 big. Okay, great, fantastic. We're running out of steam here. Keep your pointer finger on four of the third string from the bottom, but add another finger to five of the second string from the bottom. Play the four on the third string from the bottom again, and then play five on the second to bottom string. Then go back to four on the third string from the bottom, but immediately after you play it, slide up to seven. Not even after you play it, like as you're playing it, slide up to seven, and then play eight on the second string from the bottom, then back to seven third string from the bottom, back to eight second string from the bottom, back to seven third string from the bottom. So that whole thing was boom, big, deep, big, deep, big, deep, big. One, two, go home. You do it four times in a row, and that's the, well, that, okay, that's the first half of the guitar solo. The second half of the guitar solo is just power chords. You just go. So here's what I just did. I played the chords from the chorus, kind of. I played the fourth fret, second string from the top, Sixth fret, third string from the top, and then with I use my ring finger, I mash down. I try to play six on the third string from the bottom. You also can use your pinky for that if you'd like. It's up to you whether you go like this. This is the Kurt Cobain method, or you can go like this. Totally up to you. You strum that twice. Then take all of those fingers, move them up to here, G sharp power chord. So it's four, six, six on the top three strings. Then take this and move it one, two frets over, F sharp power chord, two, four, four. 
We're just going down, up, 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 down, up. So you see what I mean? It's like the chorus, but but different. So we go again. Then you're gonna play an E power chord, which is top string open and then second fret, second fret on the next two strings. Two strums of that, then we're gonna go up to a high E power chord. So that's pointer finger on seven of the second string from the top, then ring finger on nine of the third string from the top. You can do the Kurt Cobain method and mash down, or you can do the Stuart Alexander Lehman Brown method and put your pinky right there. That's the high E power chord, so I was... Then we're gonna play an A power chord, five on the top, then seven on the next string, seven on the next string, down, up, and then a C power chord, which is three second string from the top, five third string from the top, five third string from the bottom. Still basically the same chords as the chorus, we're just playing them in power chord version. If you know what that means, good for you. If you don't, it's not my problem. Let's play the whole solo all the way through. One, two, three, boom! surprise at the end. I added the E minor to G riff two times. Great. Fantastic. Then what happens? Then you do the verse again. So you do the verse exactly the same one more time. Then we do the chorus again exactly the same one more time. Then we get to the ending. The ending is a bunch of power chords. It's sort of like the second, the last part of the guitar solo. We play the low E power chord. <laughs> Then the high E power chord, that was a 799. Then we're gonna play the A power chord, that was five on top, then seven, seven. And then the C power chord, which was three on the second string from the top, and then five, five. Stay on this C power chord and strum down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then one more down, up. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you do this crazy little slide. It goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you play the E minor to G riff four more times and end on the E chord, you guys. Let's play it all the way through. The whole ending, not the whole song. Are you crazy? The whole ending. One, two, here we go. And... Too noisy, too distorted. You got it all wrong. You don't understand the vibe of this song. Do you even like Nirvana? Name three Nirvana songs other than Smells Like Teen Spirit. Or About a Girl. Or Come As You Are. Or Lithium. Or Buzzcocks. Or this Spanish person. Or Devil's Only Rejects. Or Pierce the Veil. Or Dave Matthews Band. I dare you. (laughs) 